I'm here today to interview Amber Dextrous uh, about her job and her life in general. So Amber, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? So, how long have you been a performer? Can I just say, Paul, that you're a very, very attractive man and you remind me of somebody and I just can't place who. Um, however, sorry, I've been a performer now for about 18 years, which means I started when I was five. What was your job before you, before you were a performer and what do you do during the day? Um, before I was, well, actually I've never had a job before I was a performer. Um, I started singing and then I became a drag queen, like every singer does. Um, in the daytime, actually, most of the time, I'm setting up ready to work in the night. So, because it takes an awful lot of prep to do this. So it's sorting out costumes, sorting out an act, sorting out tracks, sorting out wigs. Um, and then obviously I've got my home to look after. I go to the gym in the day. I don't work out, but I do like to look at naked men. Um, you know, a bit of shopping. That type of thing. The, uh, the things that anybody would do on the day off, to be honest with you, is what I tend to do in the day in my spare time. What is your favourite thing about being a performer? Ooh, my favourite thing about being the performer has to be the money, uh, above all else. Now, um, I like the fact that I'm my own boss. I like, the, I like making people laugh. Um, it's the one thing that I, I do enjoy. And I like doing a show and not making somebody's night, but helping people have a good night. I think any performer that says, oh, I've made somebody's night, it was that brilliant. No, you don't. But if you can go towards helping somebody have a good time and have a good night and then wake up the following morning and go, well, that was brilliant, then yeah, I've, I've done my job and I'm happy with that. How long does it take you to get ready? What's your process of getting ready? Um... It normally takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to get ready. Normally I meditate for five hours beforehand, a uh, bit of yoga, um, small amounts of break dancing. But since I've turned almost 24 now, I can't do it as well as I used to. Um, my process of getting ready is, do you know what? It's just hoping I've got everything in the case, to be honest with you. <laughs> I turn up to a gig and I haven't forgotten anything. Um, so it is a case of just sort of, to a certain degree, having a checklist making sure that I've shaved, that I've got my outfits, that I've got everything else, I've got tracks, um, that I leave enough time to get somewhere, making sure that there's a mirror somewhere I can get changed. And then normally it's a case of makeup first, always makeup first. Um, then it's tights, underwear, tits, outfit, wi uh, jewelry, wig, nails, and then a lot of prey. Um, what does your show consist of? Um, my show varies, to be honest with you, but if I had to describe myself, I'm a live comedy, fingers crossed, drag act. Um, oh, what do you want, again? After the group starts with letter C. Jacob, let's have an extra, mate. Swagger Jagger, Swagger Jagger. Come on, first on the stage. Come on, do it. There she is. Go on, then, because that's the channel. It is Shane Lloyd, of course. Definitely out of sync with Shane, isn't it? Well done. Is it nice? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is there anything about your job which you don't like? Um, what don't I like about my job? Apart from dressing up and the audience. No, I love it. Do you feel different when you're performing? And do you think there are two sides to you? I think that you have to build a character for a stage. And I think that there has to be two sides to every single performer, which is the side of you at home and the side of you that an audience sees. Um, and I don't necessarily like to mix the two, apart from today, where I've just spent 20 minutes talking to myself, in fairness. So some people would call me a drag act. Some people may think I'm schizophrenic after this interview, I'm guessing.